All right, guys, what is going on? It may not seem like it's been a while, but it really has. And quite honestly, bringing out the camera right now, I'm, I, feel, I feel a little bit weird. I feel out of my depth. I don't really know what I'm going to say because it's been so fucking long. But it is another episode of Making Gains, would you believe? And uh, no idea what day it is right now, um, but I, I think it's probably getting up to about day... 180 which means we're we're approaching the six month mark so it's been a six month bulk and right now I am in a bit of a a bit of a pickle because I don't know which way to go um, I've got the Arnold Classic coming up which I can't wait to go to it's in about five weeks so basically I'm you know I'm still struggling with my appetite I'm not eating as much as I want, or if I do eat a lot, I sort of make myself feel sick. Uh, so the appetite's certainly not there, and I, I think that's I think that's mental. I really do. Um, but what that means is that you know my body's telling me, "Fuck, you've got to you've got to get a couple of these excess kgs of body fat off your frame, and then maybe uh, you know digestion will be better, and and uh, I'll want to eat more food." So with that being said, I'm sort of deciding whether to continue this until the Arnold Classic, get as heavy as I can, and get that body fat percentage test that I'm going to get down there, um, and then continue on from there into a cut. Or I can start right now, do a mini cut, try and get in a little bit of good shape before I go down, still get my body fat percentage test done, and then whether I'm, you know, if I'm above 15% still, I'll keep cutting. If I'm 12% or under, I'll start into a lean bulk again so personally I don't know today is a great day I've got the day off work I'm about to go pick up my new phone I'm using the front facing camera once again I've had this fucking broken phone for like a week and a half finally got a new one so that is in the mail I've got my packages from Adidas that I never showed you guys which would be pretty sweet I got a couple of pairs of shoes and some shorts and what else we gonna do and I've got to get a computer I haven't had a computer for like a month and um, it's been tough, <laughs> really has. But honestly, it's been it's been a nice break not having to vlog, not having to make these videos. Um, and then the fourth purchase, guys, could be a camera. It could be uh, <clears throat> a DSLR camera. I've been looking at the Canon 80D as per usual. A lot of fucking a lot of vloggers look at the Canon 80D. Uh, but that only goes up to 60 frames per second at 1080p whereas I want it to be 120 frames per second at 1080p and six fr uh, 60 frames per second at 4k but it looks like if I want 4k capabilities it's going to be thousands and thousands of dollars so we're going to go with I think we're going to go with the 80D I'm going to get a microphone for the top and I'm also going to get a tripod so that'll be my vlogging rig baby all ready, all ready to go, so we'll see. We'll see what my credit card balance is saying, actually. I think I should probably do that before I promise anything, but regardless of that, I'm getting a new phone. Can't wait. I'm going to go to the gym, train some legs, and it should be a good day. So it feels good to be back on the line, back on the YouTube with you guys, and uh, it's, a, it's a stunning day here, as per usual. What do you expect? So yeah, just another day guys. Training has been going good. Um, after I pick up my new phone, I'll come back home, sort everything out, and then I'll give you guys a, a quick update on how things have been going as far as training and uh, diet and things like that. Training has been going well. I've been getting stronger, which, which makes me think, you know, do I really want to cut right now when I actually am getting stronger? And to be honest, no. No, I don't. I don't want to cut. The main thing I, I wanted out of this series was to build muscle, to make gains. So I don't think I am going to cut, but I, I, I do have a, a date in mind, which is the Arnold Classic. I've got a DEXA scan booked, which means I can get my body fat percentage uh, tested properly. And so I'll have a, a good mark to continue on either which way, either bulking or, or cutting. I've got seven seconds left of footage on here. My whole phone is completely full up, so I've got to go. I'll see you guys in a few. All 
What's up? What's up? How's it going? We're back. We're back for some more. I'm going to try my best to look into this lens here and not at the little uh, little viewfinder there. But um, with that being said, guys, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch switch that around. That's 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 better, isn't it? Um, it's just me and you now. So the last clip you saw was probably about a week and a half ago now. I finally, finally got, you know, basically guys, the last like two or three weeks has been really, um, not stressful, but just not, not the way I like to live my life. Let's put it that way. Um, basically my roommate, who you've never met, uh, lived here for a year. She finished her nursing placement at the Alice Springs Hospital and she has moved back to Victoria. So, didn't want to stick around in Alice Springs any longer than she had to and I don't blame her, that's fine. I won't hold it against you, but um, what happened was I had already organized someone to come in and move in on basically the day that she left, uh, which was gonna be perfect, but this guy, who's my mate as well, decided to break up with his uh, girlfriend early. So um, he, was, he was planning on doing that, he was planning on moving in, but couldn't handle it any longer and broke up with her. So I've had him in the house as well for the last three weeks. So I've had two flatmates in the house when really there's only room for one. So he, um, just gonna make sure he's not here. Don't want, <laughs> don't want him to hear me uh, talking about him. But um, yeah, he had his shit everywhere and was sleeping in the lounge and everything. So today, it's a Friday, I've got the day off, I've cleaned the house, I've got everything sweet, and now I'm feeling like my head is, you know, decluttered enough for me to actually be able to talk to the camera properly without, you know, anything bothering me really. So, with that said, right now I'm going to show you guys, I'll show you guys through the house actually. Um, some of you guys may never have seen, in fact, I don't think I've ever shown you through the house. It's not big, but it is mine, I do own it, so um, that's cool. But the first thing I'll show you is my new laptop, which is pretty sick. So this camera that I'm shooting on at the moment is the Canon 80D, and I will show you guys that. But this is my new laptop, and it's uh, MSI, which is a gaming laptop brand, and it's fucking sick. But this little area is actually an office, so we've got a chair over there, we've got the table, I've got to show you guys this. Watch this. <laughs> so, <laughs> I got an electronic desk when I moved into this house and I've never really used it because my computer has not been up here. It's been down there. But now I've moved it back up because I've got a nice clear space. We're going to um, stand at the computer desk. And that is why I like to put it up as high as possible because now, now I can stand there like this rather than sit down the whole time, which really fucks my back. So uh, that's the bedroom, which I'm still cleaning, but we've got a balcony. These are some more of the units. And right here, in there is actually the, um, the office what you just saw. So. I'm gonna focus. Okay. Anyways, usually the sky's blue the uh, whole entire day. But we've got some clouds today, I'm not sure what that means. Doesn't usually mean um, rain though, that's for sure. So, that's the room. That's the computer. Here's the bathroom. And that is what the camera looks like, so. <laughs> so look, I got my fucking vlogging room, man. Look at this shit. Boom. Not the original kit lens, I got something better. And, uh, oh, there we go. And I got a Joby fucking tripod, like all the vloggers have, and I got a Rode microphone, like all the vloggers have. And that's it, man, that's it. So, office, bedroom, bathroom, second bedroom, and then we go down the stairs. And like I said, I've cleaned up so I can actually show you guys the place because otherwise it's a bit embarrassing. It was a pigsty, we can't have that. So uh, two car parks, the stairs going up there, and then we come. I don't know what happened there. Then we come down, 
kitchen. It's not huge, but it's enough. It's enough for two people, not three, like I said. And uh, come through here, we've got the lounge area, TV. Okay. Just a uh, just a, a quick note on this one. Uh, absolute killer when you get someone around, a girl. Um, she's going to sit in it every single time. And then following that, it's up to you what happens. So I will give my, my new flatmate one bit of credit. He's got a PS4, so that's pretty sweet. We've been uh, smashing out the FIFA, NBA, 17. Haven't played UFC yet, but I'm sure we'll do that. And then we come out here to my gorgeous backyard, which I have not touched since I moved in over a year ago. So that's why it looks like this. But what I'm planning on doing is, you know, obviously getting rid of the grass, making it all flat, and putting some sort of fence line along the back, and um, I don't know, something else. I really don't know yet. But then, that's my, that's the balcony for my bedroom, like you saw, going around the side. Those are the other units, and those are the other units. So that's the house. That's where I live, guys. I'm happy here. I'm pretty happy. And this is the um, this is the spot where I would usually be setting up the camera to um, to talk to you guys. But like I said, the uh, computer's upstairs now, so. It's not gonna happen like that. But yeah, so I thought, you know, I needed to... What's up? Oh boy. What's that, John Wayne? <laughs> <laughs> we get shredded for my diet plan. <laughs> I don't know where it is. Man. Good camera, that one. Yeah. Yeah, I'll put it. Give me that one. Bang it. Russ. You won't. When do the girls come? This girl wrote to me today when I wanted to get around. She goes, I've got a nephew's party, but I'll try and come out after. So, yeah, don't worry, it's late. Just come. Today, it's better. I've got my roots clean. So there you go. <laughs> Couldn't even get one video done without someone coming home. But it's all right. So I'm gonna leave you here now, guys. Uh, we've got a shoulder session tonight. In fact, I'm gonna take the camera down for that and um, get a few shots. Uh, I'm gonna go train with Achilles at Anytime Fitness. I haven't been to Anytime Fitness in quite a while. In fact, I've actually changed gyms back to one of the original ones that I went to uh, here in Alice Springs called Outback, which is, um, it's also a 24 hour gym. But it's more so, it's got, you know, it's, it's more so hardcore sort of powerlifting sort of thing, even though it's not. It's more so than, uh, than Anytime Fitness. So I've been training there lately. Um, but yeah, for now, I'm just going to chill out a couple more hours, get a pre-workout going, and then uh, I'll see you at the gym for some shoulders. Let's go. All right, guys. What is going on? Today's date is the 7th of March. We are back. We're back. We're back to live updates. We're back to reality. We're back to today's date. I've been living in the past for too fucking long. So, I would call this day 210 of making gains, which means, guys, we've made seven months, which is insane to think about it. It does not feel like seven months ago that I started this series. Um, I, yep, I went through all that shit with the computer, with my phone, um, had no camera, etc. I bought the computer, I bought the camera, I bought the tripod, I bought the microphone, I got a new phone, and yet I still didn't make any videos. Um, mentally, I have been struggling with the idea of putting so much effort into social media and YouTube and things like that um, when I don't even have, you know, 
a life of my own that fulfills me emotionally. Um, I'm putting all this effort into something like YouTube when I myself, um, when I'm feeling like that inside, I'm not going to be able to put my 110% into making videos for YouTube. That, I mean, that's some real talk for you guys. That combined with um, exhaustion from working a hell of a lot. I'm working 60-hour weeks every single week. Well, actually, look, that's a lie because it's, it's probably about 50-hour weeks because I take at least one shift off per week sick, um, just like everyone else does at work because we're completely overworked. Um, but, yeah, with that being said, I have managed to continue training. My weight is around about 105 kgs at the moment. I'm feeling heavy. I'm feeling strong. I'm feeling good. But I still struggle with my appetite. I still feel like my body is telling me, you know, you're getting, you're getting heavy. You're getting heavier than I want you to be, naturally. So I'm struggling to put on any more weight. I have introduced creatine in the last couple of weeks, and I feel like that has helped. Um, with you know a little bit of fullness but my weight hasn't changed so so life has been hectic lately and I have not felt like making any videos whatsoever um, some days you know it's even got to the point where I'll look at myself in the morning and I'll feel so tired and so exhausted that um, I'll just feel ugly I'll feel really old and ugly and, um, you know, who wants to make a video? Who wants to make a vlog when you feel like that? Uh, not, yeah, not me. And um, so I've got to get that out of my head. I really need to have a break. And with that being said, I have made a plan. I've made an awesome plan and I'm really, really excited. So this is, this is what is going to rejuvenate myself. Um, hopefully it's going to open up some doors to new challenges and new, new you know, experiences in life. And what I've decided to do, today's date is the 7th of March 2017 and I have decided to do a personal training um, certificate in my hometown of Christchurch. If you've been following for a little while, I did mention that last year that I was thinking about doing that. Um, you know, everyone I've spoken to in Christchurch, I've got so many connections that are so close to being lost forever. Um, these are friendships that go back years and years and years. Um, people that I see, keep on you know, saying that I'm going to see and I never have. I haven't seen them for like six or seven years. These are friendships that meant the world to me back then. And they're friendships that I haven't been able to replace some of them, if you know what I mean. You know, those experiences with people that you've grown up with as a kid, all those naive and you know, really innocent experiences that you experience for the first time and the, the bonding experiences you have, they're irreplaceable and those relationships are ones that I really, really want to connect with again. Um, so that is half the reason why I'm going back. I obviously want to see my family. I'm going to be able to live rent-free whilst I study. And there's a campus, uh, an NZIS campus, New Zealand Institute of Sport um, in Christchurch that I will be attending and doing my course in person with tutors, with other students, having a great time. And honestly, guys, I cannot wait. So right now, you know, I'm, I'm about a week away from going to Melbourne for the Arnold Classic. I cannot wait. I'm going to have a fantastic time. But I'll tell you what, that will be the last uh, extra dollar that I spend going forward for the next four months because I'll be, I'll be grinding, guys. I'm going to be working and training and sleeping because basically I want to get myself in the best financial position possible um, before I go back to Christchurch because I need to be able to support myself for six months uh, for the time that the course is on. Obviously I'm going to be living rent free so my parents say. Um, I think I'll probably have to have to pay them something or I might get a part time job in Christchurch which would be crazy because I'd never imagined myself working in Christchurch again. I thought that would never happen, but it seems like it might. Or I can just chill out, really concentrate on YouTube again, as well as going to my personal training course. 
who knows what's going to happen. All I know is that for the next four months, I'm going to be grinding hard, trying to save as much money as possible to get myself in the best position possible so that I really don't have to worry about anything for six months and I can actually have six months off work. Off, I'm talking about. <laughs> you know, it's come to the point, guys, I'm only 26 and I'm, I'm feeling like I'm just wrecked. So I need this time off. I need something to do while, whilst I have this time off, which is the personal training course. And I'm, I'm coming to the realization that I'm only ever going to be happy working if I'm doing what I love. And the only thing that I can put my finger on that I am truly passionate about and that I love and that I can monetize is becoming some sort of either online personal trainer. I know I said that I didn't want to, you know, put so much effort into social media before, but I do like the idea of being an online trainer, being able to travel and take your business with you. I love that idea. If not that, some sort of nutritionist, possibly dietitian, sports scientist, I don't know, something, to, something around that. That is the dream. That's the goal. That's the ultimate goal. I need to really fucking pull my finger out and get my shit sorted and start building this business. And that starts with doing this course in Christchurch. I cannot wait. I'll be back. I'll be back on YouTube when I'm ready. Honestly, guys, like I said, I looked in the, I looked in the mirror this morning. I felt fucking tired. I felt old. But I felt big. And I'm a constant 105 kgs in the gym. So as far as making gains, we're doing well. And um, yeah, like I said, it's just grinding at the moment. So whenever I have time, when I feel good enough to make a video, I'm going to make it. Hopefully the quality's there. I really hope so. This footage that you've seen is my hometown of Littleton. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you've made it to the end. If you have, you're an OG. I love you guys. Thanks for the support. We've hit 3,000 subscribers, which I'm absolutely stoked about. It seems like over Christmas and stuff, um, YouTube slows down a bit. So I was a bit worried. It wasn't, it, it wasn't climbing whatsoever, but in the last month or so, um, the subscribers have, have bounced back up and I'm feeling positive again. Um, so yeah, I'll see you guys in no time, I'm sure. In the meantime, have a great day. Train hard. I'm looking forward to the future. I've got night shift tonight, which I fucking, uh, I don't know, who, who wants to do night shift, honestly? I'm just over them. They screw your sleeping pattern. They screw my training pattern, but you've got to do them. But I am having six months off, which I, oh my God, guys, I cannot wait, honestly. It just, it makes me smile. It makes me excited. So that's what we're working for at the moment. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I gotta go. I'm gonna stop rambling. Peace.